Hi, I'm Ramrata from Informatica Support. In this video, I'll be showing how to configure lookup localization in E360. Agenda of the video, we will cover on what is lookup localization and how to configure that in hub and provisioning. Basically, in E360, when we change language, even the lookup can be localized. For instance, all the lookup tables support localization and you can map each of the lookup tables to the corresponding localization table such that you see language specific localized data. Now let's look into the demo. In app console I have configured party table which has got gender as the lookup column. So LU gender is the lookup table and LU gender LCL would be the localization table. Localization table has got four main columns. One is the key column which is called gender code which is again having a relationship with the lookup gender. So I have created a relationship with the lookup gender. And other three main columns are the country code, language code and the localized string. Now let's populate the data for all these four columns. In this example, I have uh, loaded sample data. So gender code will be a drop down as it has got the uh, relationship with the lookup gender and uh, language code will be a ISO code which uh, has to be populated and localized string will be the for the corresponding language and country code is optional. You can either have it null or you can keep it. If, if in case you have mapped to the lookup country code, you can have this populated. Now in provisioning, we'll have to, under business entity, reference entity, we have configured the lookup gender table and have enabled localization. So once you enable localization, you can configure the base object which is the LCL table for this and all the four columns we need to map accordingly. Key column will be the gender code, country column, language and the localized string. So once we make this change, apply and then publish the change. And in under business entity, I have created a person which has got a lookup field gender code. So now this gender code, when I change the language, I will be able to see the localized string after I publish. So let's log into E360 and see the changes. So I've logged into E360. Let's change the language to French and then see how the gender code looks like let me search under person so you can already see here the gender code now it has got a localized string of French let me sh open this record and show this further so whenever we create or when we edit, when we search, we should be able to see this localized string. I'm able to see all the localized string here. So this is how we configure lookup localization. And one important thing is when uh, even after all this configuration at times you will not be able to see the localized string it would still appear in the uh, normal uh, English format so one basic reason for that is in the party table where I've created the lookup gender here I've used lookup display name as gender display so this should be the display name and also it should be intact with the provisioning where you configure the display name if there is any discrepancy then the localized string will not work so lookup display name uh, plays an important role out here well this is all about the lookup localization now to conclude all lookup tables support localization to localize lookup tables you must map the lookup table to the corresponding lookup localization table.
and as I said oh, we need to make sure the lookup display name is intact with the provisioning one well we would love to hear from you you can view more support videos at supportvideo at informatica.com and you can also tweet us thank you